Hello and welcome to tonight's flipped classroom video. Tonight we are going to be talking about part part whole mats with subtraction. The last time we talked about part part whole mats we talked about them with addition and we learned that part plus part equals whole. Today when we use part part whole mats with subtraction we're going to start with our whole and we're going to learn that whole minus part equals part. Let's get started with this picture. In this picture I see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. Eight is my whole for this problem. So I'm going to take those eight cubes and I'm going to move them into my hole. And I'm going to start with eight cubes. When I subtract, I always start with my hole or my bigger number. Let's decide how many cubes I want to take away from my hole. I'm going to roll a dice to decide how many cubes I want to drag in to one of my parts. Let's move four cubes from my hole into one of my parts. One, two, three, four. So far on my part part whole mat, I've done eight cubes as my whole, minus four cubes into one of my parts equals blank. I need to look at my part part whole mat and I need to see how many cubes are left in my hole that I can drag into the other part of my mat to get my answer. I have four cubes left in my hole. One, two, three, four. When I drag those cubes into the other part of my mat, I can see that eight minus four equals four cubes left to drag in. When we use a part part whole mat with subtraction, we always start with our whole. Our whole is our big number. We take away or take apart some of that number into one part and then we see what is left to put into our other part. Let's try another one. This time my hole is five. I'm going to take my five cubes and move them into my hole. When we subtract we always start with our big number or our hole. My hole is five. I'm going to start with five in my number sentence. Five minus what? Let's roll a dice to see what one of my parts will be. One of my parts is going to be four. So I'm going to take apart my hole and slide four cubes. One, two, three, four into one of my parts. Subtraction means taking apart. So I took apart my whole and put some in one part and that was four. I started with five as my whole. I took four away and now I need to find out my answer. Five minus four equals what? Well I have one cube left in my whole that I can drag into my other part. So five minus four equals one. When we use a part part whole mat, we do whole minus part equals part. This time I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubes. I'm going to take those seven cubes and I'm going to put them into my hole. That's what I'm starting with. That is my biggest number. My whole always comes first when I subtract. Seven minus. 
Let's take away some cubes and slide them into a part. Let's roll our dice to see how many cubes. Oh, only one. We'll slide one cube into part of my mat. Seven minus one equals, we're going to look at our hole and see how many cubes we have left in our hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven minus one must equal six. Tomorrow, we're going to be using part-part hole mats with subtraction. We'll start with our hole, our big number. We'll break it apart or take away and slide some into one part. And then we'll see what's left to put into our other part. That's how a part-part hole mat helps us in subtraction. On your homework sheet tonight, it asks you what math tool was used in tonight's video. During tonight's video, I used cubes to help you with a part-part hole mat. Please write the word cubes on the line on your homework sheet. See you tomorrow in class.